Hey everyone, Tal here, bringing you some more Shadowverse content. Sorry there hasn't been videos the last couple days. It's just been hard for me. It's hot as freaking hell now in in California, especially where I'm at. And on top of that, I haven't been getting much sleep because of it being super hot. Um, since the time I go to bed is during the daytime, <laughs> because I work overnight. <coughs> Sorry about that. Also, update on the forest deck. The deck is doing good still. Um, I had some requests for replays showing the deck versing against Aegis. And since the replay system only saves so many games, I didn't have any in my recent few because I play a lot of friendlies. And not a lot of the people I play friendlies with like to play Aegis. Um... Or if they do, it, it's not every game, and they play a lot of games, so it gets buried. And also, I feel like most people, even if people I'm fighting on friendlies are, are of equal or greater, you know, performance than I am, I kind of feel like showing ladder matches, people just receive that better, as, like, it means more. So I'll get to that when I can. Bottom line, though, the deck is, is performing great. It's just performing less than what I would enjoy. Uh, second thing... <laughs> I know people are going to be like, oh my god, Sahakwil again, for real? Come on. I'm sorry. There's just so much value, and I am a Timmy. That's just that's just what I, I like to play giant legendaries. But we'll go over the stack real quick. Um, there is a non-Sahakwil version, which we might uh, play a little bit as well. Maybe not today, but eventually. We got, we got the Sacred Police, we got the Uticas, we got the Black Inscriptures, and the Grimnirs, and the Cudgels, and the Tribunals. And the Radiance Angels, everything you expect. <clears throat> Two of Kaguya, just to stop other Aegis. Um, I'm just I'm just glad I can play Kaguya. Kaguya's pretty sick. And even in matchups where Kaguya isn't aiming for Aegis, she's still able to um, weaken our opponent's board, you know, for a while. Against Ramp Dragon, you know, being able to lower Ouroboros and Bahamut's attack and stuff like that's great. Um, and obviously being able to hit Aegis is great. Like, that's the big stuff we're, we're aiming for, is lowering Ramp Dragons and stuff. But there have been times where she saved me in the Aggro Shadow matchup, and then I was able to start healing back up because she lowered uh, one of the leftover minions to one, and then they didn't have lethal, etc. You get it. Dark Jean, um, the version of Aegis that I net decked ran her, and that's kind of opened my eyes to her. Doesn't seem like everybody does, but I like her. Against against the uh, more tokeny shadow decks, she can often clear the board. Against um, Sword, she can definitely clear all those little tokens that they get. And since our minions are generally bigger, oftentimes I've gotten straight up 20 damage lethal from just playing her onto a board. Granted, obviously, uh, me having a few big things there kind of meant I was already winning, but she did make sure that I just won that turn. Nemesis Decree, of course. Saha Quill and Israfilx are doing the package. And then Aegis, where normally Lucifer would be, and then Bahamut. The deck doesn't really brick that often. I've played the deck quite a lot. I, I don't have a number for you guys, mainly because I don't. <laughs> also, if you can tell, I have the... Uh, I have the Street Fighter skin on my or sleeves on. I do have the Street Fighter hero for this one too, so I hope you guys don't mind. I, I doesn't seem like people cared that I use Street Fighter skins, which is good. I for some reason when they were first announced there seemed to be some negativity, so I was kinda worried there would be some like shade because of it, but everyone seems pretty chill, so I'm glad about that. I just really like their lines, their characters, you know, I'm sorry. But I'll digress. So we're gonna go ahead and play this deck, uh, probably two games. Because the deck does have longer matches. And, yeah, it should be good. Also, for those of you that might be thinking, why not just play this in ramp? Uh, since you'll hit the minions higher, completely valid. It's just a different style. Um, I'm noticing a lot of usefulness out of being able to banish things completely. Also, with Sacred Plea, we get really good card draw. And it's weird to say it's like tempo card draw, because we get the card draw eventually, and we don't really have to spend like five mana for fervor, you know? Um, granted you get healing with that, but that's beside the point. We also have Aegis, so unless our opponent pops a Kikuyu down, which has happened to me once, um, you know, it will win us the game. Uh, and the deck's a lot of fun. The deck is a lot of fun. I definitely am not opposed to 
running the non is uh, Sahaquil version. The only issue is in the non Sahaquil version, the only thing I'd really change is Sahaquil herself. And that's because I've seen Israfil get some really good use. And if that's the case, then there's not really a reason to not run Sahaquil, right? You know what I mean? Because uh, what would I put in her place? Maybe like an Olivia in, in, in I don't know, two amulets? Uh, Beast Call Arya would also not be too bad in her slot. The only issue is just slamming down uh, a slow Israfil on nine isn't always what you want to do. I definitely think one, one thing you can do to make this deck faster, obviously faster, is... Um, remove the three Sahaquils for Beast Call Arias, and maybe remove one Israfil um, for an Olivia? Just to make sure that since we're losing the haste, or the rush, right, that we get from Sahaquil, that we have evolution tokens for our bigger minions to get immediate effects. Uh, but this version is doing well. I really like it. And uh, let's see how it does right now. Also, I finally hit 100 with Havencraft. So that's a, that's a thing I did. Havencraft is, well, obviously, my highest legendary, er, leg oh my gosh, I can't, the words. Havencraft is my highest level, um, and it's not tied with anybody, that's what I was trying to say. So, like, you'd be like, well, of course, it's 100, like, everything stops at 100. I mean, like, I have no other 100s, I just play a lot of Havencraft. And we got Little Miss Luna. This is good for us, again, all the banish effects, obviously, give us a bit of advantage. I'm gonna hold on to the Breeze of the Cudgel. Now I got Unica and Kaguya. Um, going first. I mean, obviously you don't want to six drop your opening hand, regardless. But getting Kaguya right off the bat, not too into it. Oh, she doesn't echo, like I was hoping she would. Hmm. Okay, at least we got Grimnir. Doing okay. Just the way I play, I always prefer going second. Uh, one, I like, I'm, I like to play reactively, and two, I just, I like being greedy. Give me those extra evolutions anytime. I will use them. Beside the point, though, we are drawing pretty good. I'm going to be greedy and hold that Priest of the Cudgel until after, until turn five. That's because I want to make sure there's no way it gets removed. One, to deny shadows, and two, just for that two-for-one value to make up for where we are. No attacks. That's fine. Give me sac Sacred Plea. I will honestly take that. Can you stop and then my question here is, do I <clears throat> do I hit the Unica? Um, yeah, I guess obviously Unica is the one I should hit because there's no point in not killing her since Spartoy already did his ability. <clears throat> Sorry. If it wasn't in a game, I would edit the clearing the throat out. I want to make sure you guys see everything, you know. I don't know. I'm always so worried people are going to be like, "Oh, well, I mean, he edited that part, maybe something." I don't know. I just always feel like because I'm not like a mastering yeah, player, everyone's gonna is gonna hate me. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's cool. It's cool. Well, we're good. You gonna evolve anything? I mean, I don't see why she would. But I mean, she could. She did. I was not expecting that. As much as I don't want to um, take the three damage on Cudgel, I think I will because I just want to not let her get that extra skeleton. Themesis, wonderful. Great way to respond to Eckert. If I'm pronouncing his name, I'm going to feel so shit because I'm going to wait till she plays him and then read that name. Because I've always just seen it in text. I've never actually like had someone say it to me with their mouth. So I might even have just misread it the first time in text, and then been like, oh yeah, that's that's what that's called. That's the name of that thing. Oh. And your turn? No, evolve. Okay, well that's a bit of... Oh, we have Kaguya, though. That's actually fine. Um, And now this is the problem where, like, an Olivia would be nice, because I don't really want to wait... Oh, come on, Israfil. I just told everyone about how this deck doesn't really brick, and then you make me draw three Israfils in four turns. <laughs> That's fine, though. Our uh, Sacred Play is about to pop. And she's going to have to answer Kaguya now. And even when she does, again, we get the From Moon. It's just good. This is a good feeling right now. Hmm. Mimi. Okay. I'm happy with that. Our health is staying at 20. Also solid. I don't want to... We got a Unica. I'm not worried about a Unica. 
That is a bit of an issue. If we drew Sahak Wheel right now, that would be sick as fuck. We get three tries at it. Come on, Sahak Wheel. Nope, nope. Nope. Oh, fine. Um, I will go ahead then in Themesis since we have another one in our hand and she played three minions. So it's not, I'm not, I don't feel too bad about that. Again, the main issue I have is just the fact that we don't have evolutions for our big guys. Maybe even cutting one Israfil for Olivia would be good, but I feel like she's just one of those cards you want to make sure you get in your hand. So I could be incorrect. I could be incorrect about that. All right. Uh, again, I'll save Banish for something a little more important. Do I just Grimnir this turn? I could Grimnir Banish, but then Grimnir just dies to an Evolved Shadow Reaper. I don't really want a Themesis again. Worst case scenario, she plays Eckhart right now, right? And this does three, that does four. And she evolves, I take nine damage. That's pretty bad. But this is going to weaken that to one, yeah? Hmm. Do we just play Grimnir just flat out? I think we just play Grimnir, actually. I think that's okay. Yeah, okay, we'll play Grimnir. I would rather not play Grimnir, just because on 10 mana, he's obviously so good. But we have two more in the deck. Not trying Sawhook Wheel, though, has been, like, really bad. That's, uh... You know, we run three as a fill three Sawhook Wheel, so I guess there's an even chance to draw both. We just rolled high. Or I guess low, depending on how you look at what the roll means. Not the point. Okay, well that's a good banish target. What's the scenario we can even uh, black and scripture and Themises? And then unless she gets a super tempo turn, we get to Israfil. Hmm. So one of the situations where like it'd be really sick to have anything that like lowers the cost of a legendary. Do we just play Israfil actually? Three, four, five. I think I'm gonna just play Israfil. So we take, we, let's say we take eleven. Worst case scenario, we take eleven damage. Right? They all get plus two. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go down to nine. Israfil attacks, blows up everything. We have Black and Scripture, Unica. I think that's okay. I think this is okay. It's a little risky because we have a chance to uh, blow up a lot of our health right now. And she still has one of the Cerberus buffs in her hand, I believe, Coco. I believe she still has Coco. Um, so we're looking at going down to 7 health, which is way more risky. But even if we just attack with Israfil and blow up her board, we can play another Israfil to heal. To Did I say something weird? Blow up another Israfil to heal. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what's going on in my brain right now. My turn. Alright, we're gonna blacken, attack, and then I think I'm gonna double Unica. I'm feeling pretty good right now, to be honest. Even even with the fact that we actually bricked, which doesn't normally happen, I, I don't feel like I'm in a bad position. Yeah, waiting for a response. Oh, come on. Don't do this. You de-sing bastard. And she's gone. Nice. Huh. I just got a notification saying that they're doing a card poll. And that popular cards will become leaders. Is that how do I how do I get involved in that? Is that a thing? Can I do this? Hello, crate. Do you have a? Can I vote? Anything happening? Hello. I don't know how to do that. That's weird. I just got the thing on my phone, and when I clicked on it, it launched the Shadowverse app. Obviously, this isn't my phone, but <clears throat> it launched on my phone, and then I closed it right away because I was afraid it would kick me out of that match. Where? Huh. I'll have to look that up. That's not important right now, though. Let's play another game. Also, those of you that maybe have been around since my, uh... My, oh, yeah, I actually do. That's not important, though. Those of you that have been around since my duelist days, 
Probably remember Tempo Sabo. That deck was pretty fun. And we're in. Hello, Busty Night Lady. Or Maiden. <clears throat> Hello, Busty Maiden. How you are still a Maiden, I do not know. Alright, let's do this. Who do we got? Dragon. Okay, so Dragon is potentially an issue. <clears throat> Just because I do have so much burst. We're going first again, too. That's so unfortunate. God, I want to hold on to both of these. I'm going to be greedy as fuck. And now probably lose. That's something I do wonder. <clears throat> Even with all the Haven that I have played, I don't know if keeping like Tribunal or Cudgel is right. I guess Cudgel would be... Yeah. Because on 4 mana, you have so much less tempo with Tribunal on curve than you do with um, playing Priest of the Cudgel. Because you get to potentially kill two things and you get a body on board. Oh, this is the Amulet one. I believe it is. I believe Dragon Emissary is... That's what that card's called, right? That I just totally think. Yeah. I believe that... <clears throat> I believe that is kind of the clue. That you're not fighting, like, a standard ramp deck. You're fighting the amulet version. Um, that's only a slight problem for us, in the sense that if the amulet comes out and we don't have Bahamut available, or they're able to ramp enough that we don't get to slam Bahamut down to stop it, the continued dragons can become a big problem until we get to Bahamut. And then sometimes the the act of playing Bahamut doesn't necessarily save us in the long run. The only, and the Radiance Angel, obviously a good card. It heals us and cycles. Um, I wouldn't cut it, I don't think, for much, if anything. But the one weakness it does have is the fact that oftentimes when turn 5 comes around, because of its weakened stats compared to other 5 drops, I don't often want to play it there's, well, we got two Bahamuts. There we go. I don't often want to play it because it won't evolve and kill the thing. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Technically, she's one mana ahead of us now, but we're both going to be on seven, so it's chill. Um, if more ramp... Ooh. There you go. You did a thing. You did a thing. It has Bane, which means I don't want to... I guess I'll just play another Tribunal. And since that tribunal's about to pop, I haven't seen that card used at all. Interesting. I wonder what deck this is. I guess maybe someone's own version of the uh, amulet? Of the amulet deck? Sure. Okay. Please. Tribunal. I know there's some RNG here. Can you please hit Sybil? Please. Please. Yes. I guess it didn't really matter that much in the end because of the fact that she's going to be on 10 mana regardless. But luckily, we're going to have 10 mana to respond, meaning that we'll have a gr good chance to hit her with our Bahamut on the amulet. I think in this matchup, I want to try to not play Bahamut until the amulet comes out. Now, the amulet doesn't come out this turn. I mean, we're slamming down Heavenly Aegis and we're going to go crazy. Because even though I am a disliker of Aegis, I'm also not against playing Aegis. You know what I mean? Like, YOLO. YOLO Aegis. 7 damage face. Sure. Uh, that kind of sucks. Actually. How do we deal with that? I don't want a Themesis. Salamander on that. Sure. That is unfortunate. Black and Scripture. Wow. The gods have answered. Play Kaguya. And as much as I want to evolve her, I don't think I can. Because I want to get Aegis out right away. As in, I want to play Aegis and immediately get tempo from it. So that I'm not just slamming down a big thing and then dying to a storm attack. This is probably the deck that does the Erd Forte combo. So we're one Forte down. But we don't have any healing in our hand. Um, however, our Tribunal's about to pop. So that's pretty good. We have Bahamut ready to go. Or Boros. Fine. Hits face, I'm assuming. Yeah. And evolves. And kills... Um... And kills Kagura? Okay. Kaguya? No. Not Kagura. And dies. Okay. 
Here we go. Let's go for it. Heaven is it's rebuking you. So we have three board wipes in our hand now that don't kill us. That don't kill Aegis, obviously. And two of them even draw us two cards. But being at 10 health, we haven't drawn any healing that sticks. Before I realized the weakness of this deck against other Aegis decks, I had Lucifer, where Kaguya was. And I don't, th I don't think one Kaguya is correct. Because if they just play their second Aegis, you really would like your second Kaguya. But we'll see. Oh, oh man. Sure. Oh. There's healing. Uh, so we'll play Bahamut as well. So she couldn't kill us that turn. Because she had to Bahamut. So we might win. We might win. She has an evolution point, which is the scary part. She does have an evolution point. But even if she like played Ouroboros, hit us, and the... Oh, okay. Okay, she she's dead. There we go. We did it. Also, I got a message on my phone. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my. I don't know why my voice got that high. No idea. We got a card pack ticket. Nice. And we finished a quest. That must have been the reward for the quest. I don't know. I whatever. Almost a three. Yes. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I don't know how long this video has been. I have a friend that wants to do something. Do I play a third match? I want to play a third match really bad, but I think I'm going to leave it at two again, just review time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave some feedback on the deck. I, I feel like having more healing is what we want, right? Do we want some Lucifer in there? I don't know. Um, I still don't want to cut. I, and, it, <clears throat> and that's if Lucifer is even right. I mean, it could not be. I don't really see room to put anything else in the deck. Obviously, we could cut Saha Quil, Um But I think the deck becomes much weaker if you do that. Granted, there she didn't do much... But cutting, because Lucifer is 8 mana, right? Yeah, so like cutting 3 7s for a 9 and 2 8s I, is not the right answer. Because we're not only losing the haste, the the rush from Sahak Wheel, but we're also raising our curve. Hmm. I don't know. I feel, I feel like it's good as it is. I'll keep playing it. I'll let you guys know, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.